Hi everybody, it's the 11th anniversary of Fukushima. We're back with another quiz for the Fukushima anniversary. Did the radioactive plumes reach North America? And this is a model showing plutonium-239, which is named after the devil covering our planet from our power plant in Japan. Sources say there's around a thousand fission products that we need to worry about. This is another model of the Xenon-133. It's known to burn a hole through your lungs, insects, birds, animals, mammals, lungs, and eventually end up in the bone. It's a bone seeker. The model shows covering the planet. Uh, we have uh, models of a million beckles a square meter the size of your dinner table in your entire country, folks. This model is based on 20 days of xenon radioactive fallout. So if you let the model run for another 10 days, uh, it covers the rest of the planet. We have a study shown 450,000 times uh, what's considered weapons fallout peak normal uh, xenon-133 sustained and persisted for weeks. So this devastated the insect populations worldwide and that's the basis of the food chain for a lot of animals. Another study showing 20 million atoms, actual particles of radioactive iodine, rather 131 per liter fell on the U.S. during post-Fukushima peak. They try to cover that story up and downplay the significance of it. It ends up in the thyroid glands, mutates into radioactive hormones. Uh, the person who, Chris Sarkosa, we've called him many times for being a pump for the nuclear industry. This model shows plutonium-239 dispersal throughout the entire planet, Neptunium-239. Another study shows uh, iodine-129 with a 15 million year half-life. There's 10 half-lives of... This once again goes into the thyroid glands of the birds, the animals, the insects, and you and ends up into radioactive hormones. They show another model showing Fukushima radiation is circling the globe. Uh, the levels are consistently rising and falling in a 40-day cycle. I'll speed these models up. Another model of the radioactive fallout and just a single atom sequestered in your muscles, your organs, and your bones can cause an illness or a disease or an autoimmune deficiency, up to 1,800 illnesses, and that a single one in your body. This model of France really does tell the story. It's a 16-day model. It's based on venting, not the actual meltdown, so it's much more worse than what you're seeing. But yes, it did reach United States and Canada and the rest of the world in just a short period of time. Stay tuned, and there's a link below to a live show if you'd like to learn more about this that is happening tonight for the 11th anniversary of the Fukushima nuclear meltdowns. Have a good day.